another H wall. Welcome back to another episode of The Loft. And guess what? I'm your favorite host, Natalia Paiva. No, 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 no. Good morning, Centennial. This is your new favorite host, Cami G. And David G. And we hope you guys had an amazing second week of school. And we have a great episode for you guys today. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. What's up? We're back with another video. video. I'm a Leslie, I'm number 14, I play center field. I'm Maya White, number nine, second base. Oh, when she up to bat, I say what oh. time is it? Dime time. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. Okay. So yeah, I want y'all to come out and support me. It's Clean Up Crew, you know. I yeah. Take I take the, uh, the equipment off, Clean Up Crew. Check her out. Check me out, you know what I'm saying? I work fast, like a speed of light. Some light. Some light. <laughs> So I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Uh, my name is Riley Gardner. I'm number 26, and I play shortstop. We don't really do too much before the game. We kind of yeah. just listen to music. Right now, we're in a big country, like little, little pregame vibe. We're in a, we, I mean, we scored 21 runs last game before when we listened to Morgan Wallen before, so we had to do it again today. So my name is Lillian Hilton. My number is 33, and I'm a pitcher utility. I'd say the biggest pre-game ritual we have is probably yelling a bunch yeah. um, and dancing around the locker room like maniacs okay. to get hype. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I'm most excited about the girls. I think we have a really good team this year and just like the team cooperation is a lot better this year. I think everybody's really excited for it. My stepmom actually played D1 ball in college and so it's been a really big thing for me ever since I was little and I just like... I'm always working to like be as good as her. I'm most excited about it being my senior year. I finally get to be a leader this year and uh, step up. Um, and we're trying to get to 10 wins, so every game we're pushing through, um, hoping to make a playoff berth. So. My name's Maria Maroos. My number is 17, and I play pitcher, first base, and outfield. Pre-game rituals we do is uh, we huddle up and we pray, and we just like make sure we get all hyped up and have fun.
name is Chelsea Burney and I teach chorus here at Centennial. The reason that I became a teacher, I was exposed to music my entire life. Both my parents were music teachers. I was in chorus from fourth grade all through middle and high school and when I was in high school I actually attended all state chorus. I went through the audition process and it was a really impactful experience for me and I had one of those wow moments of this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I just I want to make music and I want to make music with people that enjoy doing it just as much as I do. Recently I have been watching the newest season of Outlander slightly upset that they sprung a mid-season finale on us and now I'm gonna have to wait till sometime in 2024. I would never play The Hunger Games because I like living too much and I know that I would probably be the first one to die. During the weekends, I like to sleep in as much as I can. I have a six-year-old, so depending on the day is whether she actually lets me sleep in or not. Sometimes she likes to sleep till nine and I like to live in those moments. A thing that I most enjoy about Centennial is the community that we are able to build here. This is my 12th year at Centennial, so I've gotten to really know the students around me and the families that really build this area. And I just love that in my classroom, no matter what somebody's background is, we're kind of able to leave that at the door and truly come together in a unified purpose and make something beautiful each day. Wow, those are some really cool facts about Miss Bernie. Now, keep on watching The Loft. Oh my God, look, homecoming is not that far away. Spirit Week is from September 25th to September 29th. I hope they're better than last year. What are you gonna suggest? I got it, I have the perfect idea. I say one day we do soup, salad, or sandwich. Yes, and then one day, we could dress up as our favorite batteries. Yes, that's perfect. If you have ideas for Spirit Week, click the QR code. <laughs> Your voice matters. Who's one teacher that makes the school a better place? One teacher that makes the school a better place for me is Miss Williams. She was my old lit teacher last year and she really helped me a lot. Um, one teacher that makes school a better place, I think it's Miss Wingate. Who makes school fun for you? The kids. The end, period. The kids. <laughs> Who's someone that makes school fun? Probably my friends Lucas, Malik, Eduardo, Aquila. All those people like my first and second period. How do you show kindness? I show kindness by being like uh, kind and respectful to other people, um, like giving them compliments and just not being mean to them. Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly update. I'm your new and improved host, Anaya. And I'm Zarya, so let's get the show on the road. To start us off, Mr. Bigner has enforced a new phone rule to put your phone in the caddy every day. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, sorry. In other news, Centennial is creating a new map system for our brand new freshmen. You just need this new app called Centen Maps. It's only $99 a year. You'll be broke, but you won't get lost anymore. How many HLs are there anyway? Who knows? In local news, UFOs have been reported to fall from the Atlanta sky. Be sure to pack your umbrellas. Guess those AT aliens are for real. In Florida, bunnies overrun a Florida community and volunteers hop to the rescue. Talk about having a bad hair day. Only in Florida. With some international news, 15,000 chickens have gone missing from an Ontario farm. Well, that's weird, eh? Stop. You're cracking me up. Well, that's our show. Once again, I'm Anaya. And I'm Zaria. See you next week on, on The, the Loft. Loft. Man, I hate aliens. Good morning, Knights. I hope none of you are as cold or tired as I am this morning. Welcome to your Send 10 Weekend Weather Report, brought to you by your new favorite news anchors, K and K. Starting our report with this Saturday, I advise that you plan for picnic weather. With highs of 90 degrees and lows of 67, pack light, wear light, and don't forget to wear sunscreen, especially if you have lighter complexion. The weather this Sunday is going to be a high of 91 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. Now let's go over to Rory with the weather for Friday.
All right, y'all. Today's weather is looking pretty sunny, which is good for y'all sun lovers. The highest today is going to be 87 and the lowest is 65, but trust me, you will not be sweating at all because I'm already out here and <laughs> I'm sweating a lot. But any of y'all would probably know that if you've walked out this morning because it's already a little humid. And that's it for your weekend weather report at Sun 10. Bye. Bye. Dressing up for football games is very overrated because you're just going to watch football. Dressing up for football games is underrated because that's like one of the main points of going to football games. Dressing up for football games is a little bit overrated because when you actually get there it's not that fun and everybody overrates it because they hype it up way too much. I think dressing up for football games is underrated because you get to show your team spirit and support the football players. I think dressing up for football games is underrated because that's how you show your spirit towards the school. Bar movie is very underrated. I think I learned something from that movie. The bar movie was kind of overrated because people overhyped it too much. Perfectly rated, it's a good movie and nothing else than that. I think the Barbie movie is overrated and overhyped because I saw it and it wasn't all that. Barbie movie is underrated because the movie just had a really beautiful message. Drake is very underrated. He's very beautiful. Drake is so underrated, he's beautiful. Drake is overrated, he's not that good. Everybody has him like at number one and everything, but I promise you he's not that good. And it's, it's like lyrics are corny. Drake, he's Overrated. I mean, he has good songs, but yeah. Drake is underrated because I love his songs and he's just a great artist. I think the first day of school is overrated because it's just like the first day back from summer and you're just not excited for it. I think first day of school is overrated because why are you dressing up to just go to school? Freshman class are perfectly rated. They're not that annoying. Like, I don't really talk to them, but I don't mind them because they're just freshmen. I was freshman once too. Freshmen, really good. I have a lot of freshman friends and they're all great. I think freshmen are perfectly rated because they haven't done anything to bother me, but they're still freshmen. <laughs> and you're watching The Loft. So put it on. I'm Jaden. Man on the street. Was that good? It's a hot dog, a sandwich, or a sub. What? It's a hot dog, a sandwich, or a sub. A sandwich. Why? Because that's just how it works. A sandwich is like a piece of bread, another piece of bread, and something in between. That's just. What a hot dog is, so it's a sandwich. Thank you. Of course. Um, I know they're not playing football out here, man. Who's the most overrated artist? Oh. Harry Styles. He's Taylor annoying. Swift. Oh my gosh, oh, she's facts, annoying. Facts, bro. facts, facts. Like, she's literally so annoying. I'm sorry. Everybody be. We need to put y'all on the uh, Baby Drill. Baby Drill? Baby Drill. Thank you. Baby Drill. Who's the most. Overrated artist. Lil Uzi. Why? Because he's not like top tier like a bunch of other people think. There's like seven better than him. Thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. <laughs> Go! Come here.
Junior, you scored that goal? You scored that goal? What's your name? Jesse. Uh, you going to the league? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> it's a hot dog a sandwich or a sub? A sub. Why? Because it's like, it's not bread on top of bread. It's like a sub. <laughs> Appreciate it. A hot dog a sandwich or a sub? A sub. Is a hot dog a sandwich or a sub? It's a, a hot dog is a sub. Why? Because you put in meat between two buns, and that's, <laughs> that, that's a sub. That's a sub, so that makes it a sub. It, wait, hold up. I go out, wait. Go back. He threw me off. <laughs> it was over it. Zoom in on that. Zoom in. Who's the most overrated artist? Rod Wave. We're fighting. We're fighting right now. What you got to say about that? Hey, the most overrated artist, Lil Durk. Isn't a sandwich a sub? Like, think about it. It depends on the bread, but a bun, a bun is a sub because, like, think about it. If you put, if you put a meatball, a meatball sub, that's basically a hot dog, but it's not bread. Point it up. It, a hot dog is a sub. Thank you. <laughs> Why does it How's it going, Centennial? My name's Troy Arslan. And I'm Boston Seymour. And, and you're, you're watching, watching CSPN. CSPN. The Centennial Knights softball team bounces back from a tough loss on Monday against Etowah to beat GAC in a 12-2 match on Tuesday. They play this Friday and Saturday at a neutral location for a tournament. Last Thursday, your Knights had a dominating win against Riverwood in their first scrimmage. The score was 38-6. Tonight, they play at Wheeler at 7.30. The theme is Dion out. All right, we're back here with Coach Miller, and we have some questions. So, after the scrimmage on Thursday, how do you feel about the team moving forward? No, I, I think you know Thursday was a positive thing for us. We had a lot of guys get playing time, which is good. I um, think we're moving in the right direction. Still, have a lot of work ahead of us. What are some strong points about the team's performance? And what are some things that they need to work on? Yeah, definitely. I, th I think we had a lot of clean football uh, for the most part. You know, for the for the most part of the game, we played pretty clean without a lot of penalties. I uh, still got to continue to work on trying to some special teams things, um, some substitutions and stuff like that. Just little things we can clean up. Man, my favorite part about coaching this team is probably just all the different personalities and diversity of the program in itself. You know, all the different types of kids that we have, the backgrounds that come from, it's so awesome to see them come together um, just on a daily basis in the weight room and in practice. That's, that's the best part is the diversity of the team for sure. What improvements have you seen like in the weight room and on the field? I just think everyone's just continued to buy into that process, which is great. You know, old guys, young guys, guys that maybe joined us a little late through the summer, they've continued to buy into the process of lifting and getting after it, which is important.
That's it for this week's Centennial. And remember that today we have an away game at Wheeler, so go support the school. Go, go Knights! Knights.